Hey everybody, my name is Ronaldo Offman with Arcadius Video Manuals and today we're doing a really cool 90s theme and what we're doing is we're going to have uh, this is a small screen, nothing huge. We didn't want it to be the center of attention. We're going to do like a couple real cool visuals and stuff behind. Now the thing about this thing is we're going to shape kind of funky. So we have, I don't know if you can see, let me go ahead and shut this off for a moment. We have some of the image up there. We have some of the image over here which, you know, I may be blocking it, but when the haze kicks in, you're going to see those annoying beams of light. So we're going to go ahead and show you, well, I'm going to go ahead. I say we because I'm schizophrenic, I guess. I'm going to show you how to fix that real quick. The easiest way, of course, is using projector mapping, and our tool that we will use is nothing other than Grand VJ. So we're going to go ahead and fire up Grand VJ. Remember for this tutorial that I'm going to show you, you are going to need the XT plugin. The extended plugin is going to give you the vid uh, video mapping option that you would see in Media Master Pro. So now I'm going to open up my video mapping plugin. We have the projector right here, the BenQ PJ is the projector. I'm going to go and open up a new surface. And we're going to go ahead and do a preview. So we're going to go ahead and say, uh, enable full screen. So as I move this, you can see pretty much where it's going to go. Now the idea is going to be that we want to edit the grid and we're going to make a few different points. So I'm going to take this point here, we're going to put it right there, and I'm going to take this point. And basically I'm looking at the screen directly behind me which makes this super easy. I don't need it to fill up the whole screen, I just needed to fill up enough of it that it makes sense. I also don't want to out skew it too much. So I'm going to go ahead and take the bottom and fill the bottom points as well. Bring this guy over here. Again, if you can paint by dots, you can pretty much do video mapping. And I'm going to kind of keep that straight because I don't want my image to be warped. Now I am noticing as I make that the one side is a little bit higher than the other. So I'm going to have one of my text, uh, Derek. Monica or somebody, can you guys bring that sandbag a little bit more to the left, please? So basically, yeah, away from me. If this was a sitcom when Derek would walk on screen, you'd hear people clapping. A little bit more? A bit more? All right, fantastic. Nope. There you go. Then, yeah, let's go and put the camera on over there. Chair back on. And then as Derek walks away, you would hear the audience cheering, kind of like in a really bad iCarly episode. So we're going to continue on over there, and we have this guy over here, so now I'm going to bring this over here. Now we see that this one is getting out of proportion, so we're going to bring that back into proportion. I'm going to take this guy over here, and we want this one to match as well. And now we're going to bring this one down so it's as close to an even surface as possible. And now we got to take this rogue point, bring that over here, okay, right there. If you don't want to do only like this, you can also go into your sources and you can add a source in there so you can map it live, which is super handy if you're doing things like projecting onto a house or anything like that. So now I'm going to go up here, and we're pretty much filled up. Yes, there's going to be a little bit of bleed, but much less than there was before. And we're going to go ahead and save it. So we're just going to go ahead and export it to the desktop. And I think we're done here. Now, there's a few different options that we can do as well. Let me uh, find where it's at. So this is the actual surface. I'm going to go ahead and close out of it, and we're going to go ahead and run just a uh, surface so you can see here. So we have surface one, and there it is right there. So it's uh, projecting real nicely, and as you can tell, again, there's you know little parts here which I didn't project on, but that's fine. But there's a little bit of that bleed from the top part here, and I could add more points and really shape it on there if I wanted to. But for the most part, most of the bad area was gone. And if you want this area to be gone, let's go ahead and do that. We're going to do that while it's actually running with this part here. So we're going to go back into our video mapping. 
and we're going to go to sources. And on sources, I'm going to choose applications, grand VJ, and we're going to do full screen again. There it is right there, and I can actually see the whole image in one. I'm going to go into my surface one, and I'm going to add a couple more points. We call these interpolation points. I'm just going to bring that there. Bring that there. And the points in the bottom, which are really eating up at it, we're going to bring it there. And we're going to bring this guy a little bit higher here. Again, this is behind me, so I'm really not too worried, but I just don't want there to be more light than where there needs to be. So again, it's nice and clean. There's still a little bit there, and I can really narrow it down if I need to, but you get the point. Now here, there's pretty much almost nothing gone except that little small portion there, and that's because I wanted a little bit of a bleed. But that pretty much uh, gives you the tutorial on Arceus XT video mapping for funky shaped screens. Make sure you guys uh, follow on Facebook, look up Arceus video manuals, and any questions or anything like that, feel free to contact me or contact your local ADJ dealer. Thank you guys so much. Good night and God bless.